Let me introduce you to Chicago Robinson. He was an improviser quarterback who was a three-star contributor coming out of high school, and his biggest desire with a program was to get on the field as early as possible. In turn, he also wanted a program that was going to help develop him to get to the NFL, and that meant they had to have pretty new and up-to-date athletic facilities for him. Chicago Robinson was so close to signing to become a quarterback for the North Texas Mean Green, but when he saw he could sign on with Memphis as the second-string quarterback and had a chance to take over the starting role as a sophomore, his mind was made up and he signed with the Memphis Tigers. Chicago was only coming in as a 71 overall, so it was pretty clear to him that he was not planning on starting this season. That would give him an entire redshirt year though to focus on developing his game as best as he could and hopefully putting himself in a position to be the starter for the Memphis Tigers next year as he was already impressing coaches this year with how he looked in practice. His performance throughout the practices leading up to the season was really impressing the coaches. But it still wasn't enough to get him named starter headed into game number one. Chicago was still happy though as he was running out onto the field for the very first time with his teammates. And this is what should have been an easy win for Memphis to start out their season against FCS Southeast. Thankfully it was as they were up 45-10 and Chicago Robinson would actually see some playing time in this game against the Pandas. Even though he was just handing the ball off this drive, it was still a thrill to be in this game. As on the very next possession, he would actually get his number called on a read option here where Chicago would pick up the first down and the very next play he would take a knee and the true freshman quarterback had helped his team get to a 48 to 10 victory where he posted a whopping two rushes for 12 yards. After seeing the freshman get in the game the upperclassmen decided to have him drive them around for the weekend and a local sporting goods store reached out for an NIL offer as well but Chicago would ultimately decline it. He was too busy helping his team prepare for their week game two at home against Troy where once again this seemed like it was going to be an easy walk through the park win for the Tigers and it was just that as they'd get a blowout win. Game number three for them however was going to be a little bit tougher against number 17 Florida State and even though Chicago Robinson didn't get in the game at all as expected his team put up a really good and close fight against the Seminoles but ultimately it wouldn't be enough as they'd end up losing by a touchdown. The next week Chicago Robinson had a very difficult task coming up in one of his classes so this entire week leading up to the Navy game for him had literally just been studying practice and repeat. Thankfully the practice seemed to pay it off for the team as they'd get a close 24 to 17 victory and the studying seemed to pay off for Chicago as he got a B plus on a very tough test. He was able to relax a little bit after that test the following week but it seemed like his team was a little too relaxed as well because they would end up dropping their second game of the season to Middle Tennessee State. Our next game was on the road and we were taking on USF and once again Chicago's team would come away with a victory. Victories on the field weren't the only thing Chicago was picking up as he'd get straight A's on all of his midterms. And halfway through his freshman season, his team was sitting at 4-2 and 2-0 and in conference play. They were getting ready to start the second half of the season against North Texas. And this one started out close, but wasn't close to finish, as they would get a 20-point victory over the Mean Green. Even though Chicago hadn't been getting much playing time, some girls started to notice him still, but he was turning down their invites to parties. Because he needed to help prepare his team for one of their toughest conference matchups this week, as they were taking on the Charlotte 49ers who were right behind them in the conference standings. A win over the 49ers here at home could help them get a little bit closer to being in the conference championship and they would do just that as they would pick up the 24-19 win. The next week Chicago and his team were on the road taking on 3-5 UTSA and while it was a little closer than expected, a win is a win. Despite how well Chicago Robinson had been doing off the field academically, he had some classmates who were still trying to get him to cheat but obviously that wasn't going to fly with him. And after after getting all of his studying out of the way instead of cheating, he could focus now on this big game against Rice because they were the team currently right behind Memphis looking to win the Conference USA. It was looking to be a very close game and it would come down to the last possession and the Memphis Tigers would just barely squeak away with a 29-25 victory. That would bring Chicago and his team to their big rivalry matchup of the season against UAB and this one started to go south for the Blazers real quickly in the first half. So much so that Chicago Rob Robinson even got to see the field here in the fourth quarter against them. On third and nine, Chicago would get his number called for the first time and he'd complete his first collegiate pass of his career. But the very next one wasn't looking too great as he held on to the ball for too long. On a third and 11, he wanted to make it up and he would get his team down to the one yard line where he would then keep it on a read option and score his first ever career touchdown. Chicago and his teammates were super hyped for him and he would get the call on the next possession as all he would have to do is help run the 
the clock out here against the Blazers, and his team would get the 45-17 victory here in their big rivalry matchup, with Chicago Robinson going 2-for-2 two for, two for 33 yards in the air and picking up 12 yards in one touchdown on the ground. Despite Chicago getting to see the field for the first time in a while, he wasn't forgetting about his classwork he had to do, but his team might have forgot that they had to show up and play in their last game of the season against Tulane, as they would end the regular season with a 31-24 loss. Chicago at least got some good news in that he finished with all A's this year as a freshman, and that his team was going to the American Conference Championship, where they would be taking on 10-2 East Carolina. This was going to be the toughest game for the Tigers all season, and it was going to be a close one coming down to the wire in the fourth quarter, but a last second touchdown would seal the win for East Carolina. Chicago and his team still had a chance to end the season on a win as they would be going to the Frisco Bowl against Appalachian State, but their season would end on a three-game losing streak. Chicago was offered a chance to enter the transfer portal to find a starting position, but he decided against it because he wanted to stay at Memphis, and that decision to stay would be rewarded as he had a chance to battle for the starting position headed into next season. All Chicago had to do was win two of three drills against the projected starter, and even though he won the first one, he would lose the second one, but he would bounce back in incredible fashion to win the third, and Chicago Robinson would win the QB1 position battle and would be named QB1 headed into his sophomore season as they would open up the year against Texas at home.